Hello, this is Vid. Thank you for viewing my videos and welcome to my channel. Now, I uh, just uh, visited a very, very uh, unique place here in England. I'm in Hastings, which is in Sussex, and I'm about 55 miles south, southeast from London. Now, there are not too many places in the world where you can, where you can find a fishing fleet, but not in the water. The boats resting right on the beach, and this is in Hastings. And uh, there's a very good reason for it. Over the last uh, century or so, there has been many attempts to build a marina here in Hastings for the uh, fishing boats. And uh, right in front of me is the last attempt, which is completely destroyed by a uh, uh, by storm. So there was no other choice but to park all the boats on the beach. Of course, that's a very laborious. Uh, effort because every time you need to put the boat on the water you need to find a way to, to do that and also you need to find a way to pull the boat out of the water and park it on the beach. So uh, follow me for the next few clips uh, where I can show you um, how that uh, takes place and uh, how the boats have been modified in order to adjust to this method of uh, uh, getting dumped in the water and uh, getting taken out of the water and it's uh, very interesting and you don't see this in too many places in the world so let's go see. Uh, the very first thing that is very impressing here in Hastings first of all you see a boat here parked on the beach but what's impressing is the size of the of these boats I mean I'm not talking about very small fishing wooden boats this is a an iron boat and look how big it is and it is uh, sitting on the beach. Here is the beach right here. And as I said in my introduction, here is the last attempt at the pier right there. And there are pieces of it left after it was destroyed by a storm. So here are the boats. What you're going to notice here on the sides, either side of the boat, you see an extension here. And all the boats are um, especially modified to have this extension here that allows them to rest on the beach there's another one on the other side as well you can see another boat equally uh, probably much bigger than the one I just showed you you can see on the bottom here is a metal addition to it right there that allows it to rest on the beach so let's see how they get them out of the water it's quite deep right from right there how do they get them you can down? see a very heavy metal cable attached to this boat here actually you can see a hole on this boat right there where the cable is attached to and a very heavy cable which is going into a building right in, right in the distance now there are quite a few places here there's another boat right there which is tied to a cable and what happens is, is there is an engine at the end of this uh, uh, cable line over here and they start the engine and which is uh, pulling the cable and as a result the cable pulls the boat out of the water let's go see some more examples here and uh, here's another boat this one is attached to a cable as well right there now another thing which is uh, very obvious here is there are a lot of bulldozers. You can see one right there in the middle of the frame. But let's go visit another one. They're all rusty and out of order. And they look like they've been here forever. You can see right here this one is, has seen much better days 50 years ago. And I can bet you these bulldozers here, there's quite a few of them, I'd say there are about 20 or 30 scattered all over the beach. They used to be pulled, they used to pull these boats out. Of course they don't work anymore because the bulldozers have been replaced by uh, those engines I was mentioning. And let's go some, uh, see some examples of this. Here's a very good example of a uh, a machine or an engine which is used to pull the boats out this one is relatively new you can tell it's uh, nicely painted you can see the gears right here you can see the cable coming out of it 
here's another example. You see the traps right here, but here's another example of the cable going to a building. Let's follow it down there. Goes right in there. You see the bottom of the building right there. So good. that's the cable to the boat. You start the engine in here, and uh, that pulls the cable, which in turn pulls the boat out of the water. Here's another rusty bulldozer right there. This is it, and uh, what follows is uh, a quick review of the boats, the beautiful fishing boats that are parked on the beach. This is Vic. Bye bye. In some of the places, the cable goes right into a building right there you can see it going into a, uh, a little opening here under the window and that's where the engine is the engine is inside that little structure right there you can see the cable going all the way down to the beach actually this one is attached to a boat right in the distance wow so you can get an idea how much effort it takes to get this boat in the water and get it out of the water too. Now here's something uh, interesting, this bulldozer here, which is out of uh, action, or so action quite a few years ago, uh, it was used for both, to uh, pull boats out of the water by attaching the cable and pulling the boat out of the water. What you see here in the front, those tires, this is how the, uh, these tires were used for the bulldozer to push the boat in the water. Wow. So much work in order to put a boat in the water and get it out of the water. You can see more bulldozers right there. You can see the size of these boats. Look at this boat here. It's a wooden boat, quite heavy. Here's another example. You see the traps right here, but here's another example of the cable going into a building. Let's follow it down there. goes right in there you see the bottom of the building right there so you attach the cable to the boat you start the engine in here and uh, that pulls the cable which in turn pulls the boat out of the water here's another rusty bulldozer right there this is it and uh, what follows is uh, a quick review of the boats, the beautiful fishing boats that are parked on the beach. This is Vic. Bye-bye.